Welcome to the unit that will get you started with putting your PowerPoint presentation together for the Explore unit. As you can see, this one has been done. If I click on this, you will see a video. I'll go to the next one. This is also a video. And these are Photoshop or Pixlr examples. You should have picked up a folder called Explore and put it somewhere on your desktop. I will go ahead and open up that Explore folder and I intend on putting everything into that folder for this project. There should be a blank presentation in that folder. This is a blank presentation set up for you to add images, videos, and whatever else you may create for this project. If you want to add another slide, you would simply click on that last one and do Control D of your keyboard to add another one. As you can see, I have an example of a girl, a before and an after, and I have another Photoshop example. So I'll show you how to add that to that PowerPoint presentation. I will click on this little icon that says Pictures and browse to that folder on my desktop and select the before image and then I will go to the next one and select the second image. I would then go to that next slide and click my next example for before and after. Do make sure you give them titles. So I went ahead and added titles to each of these slides and I'm going to go to the next slide and add an example of a video. So I'm going to click on the insert video option, go to that desktop folder and add it. It just so happens that a student let me use his video because I want an example of before, I'm just going to go ahead and choose insert at the top, choose shapes, and I'm going to choose the rectangle. And I'm going to go ahead and make it roughly the same size as my video and move it over here. And that would be my before, which is starting with nothing. I'll go ahead and choose the shape fill and make it white. And I'm going to change the shape outline to black. And I'm going to make it thin by choosing shape outline, weight, and choosing the smallest weight possible. I'm not a fan of large outlines. And I'll just go ahead and call it Line Writer. If you're in a position to add another one, you would select that last one in the slides and do Control D of the keyboard. And what you do is you just delete that and delete this one by selecting them and hitting the delete key and then adding your next example. And of course, make sure you retitle it based on what it is. But I'm going to go ahead and delete that. If you want to change the design of your slide presentation, you would choose design at the top of PowerPoint and come in here and choose a design that you like. Do look at your slides to make sure it looks decent. In this case, I do not like how this design impacts my slides, so I'm going to keep looking. So I found one I like and it didn't totally impact my slide design. However, I would come in and I would make this smaller. I actually should have encouraged you to do your design first before you start, but this will work Go ahead and set that up. If you want to change the font of your titles, you would go to View, Slide Master. You'd come in and you would select it, and you can see that a window pops up in here. You would choose that to change the font to whatever you like. I really like Rockwell, so I will change that to Rockwell. Now when you choose Close Slide Master, it will change the font on all your slides, which is fabulous. If you want to change the before and after, you would choose that slide, go to View, Slide Master, and I'm going to go ahead and hold the Shift key and select both those boxes, and I'm going to go to the Home option at the top, and I will change that to Georgia and I will now go to Slide Master and choose Close. And as you can see, it changed it for the before and after on those slides. I am going to go ahead on this first slide and change it to Rockwell since that is my font scheme. You don't need to use the Slide Master on the first one because there's only one slide like that. And I'm going to put my name here. And of course, I'm going to change that to Georgia. This concludes the session on how to set up your PowerPoint presentation for the Explore activity. Until next time, you have a wonderful day.